So we've asked one of our uh, head lay elders, David McDowell, to just sort of bring a 2017 closure report and uh, a little bit about 2018. I'm so grateful to be surrounded with David and the eight others who are our lay elders um, who just supply me with regular feedback and counsel and insight. So uh, welcome David as he gives us a brief word here. Thank you, Ken. Thanks. As Ken said, uh, my name is David McDell. My wife and three sons and I have been coming to Faith Bridge since 2005. And as he mentioned, I'm also privileged to serve on the Council of Lay Elders for Faith Bridge. The Council of Lay Elders is made up of nine people from the congregation, and we serve three important functions here at the church. Number one, we're a source of advice to Ken and other church leaders on matters important to the church. Number two, or a fresh set of eyes to review and critique major decisions being considered by the church. And number three, we're a source of accountability, especially as it relates to issues of church ethics and finances. And it's that third category that I want to focus on a bit this morning, being a source of accountability with respect to church finances. Anybody that's been at FaithBridge for longer than a year or so knows that FaithBridge wants to be transparent with how it uses your gifts, your dollars, because we know that whatever is in our accounts, whatever's in our coffers, our buckets, is a consequence of your benevolence. And that benevolence is not required. You don't have to pay an admission fee to get in. There's no ticket for the seat you're sitting in. It doesn't cost anything to be in community at FaithBridge, your giving is an act of discipleship. And because it's an act of discipleship, we take very seriously our obligation to be good stewards to make sure that your kindness is used to effectuate the mission of FaithBridge. So once or twice a year, we all gather around the kitchen table, look at the budget, look at the results, and assess how we did. When you came in, you should have received one of these, 2017 annual report. If you didn't, the ushers are going to come down the aisle, just raise your hand. They can make sure that, uh, uh, that you get one. And I think that whether we're looking at 2017, the first quarter of 2018, or what the rest of 2018 has in store for us, you'll be convinced that the light of Faith Bridge is shining brightly as your gifts are used to make more and stronger disciples who make more and stronger disciples of Jesus Christ. By any measure, 2017 was a resounding success. As we came out of 2016, still feeling the impact of the recession, at best, of the oil and gas industry, we set a budget of $9.3 million for Faith Bridge. And I'm pleased to report that through the proactive management and prudent management of expenses, we came in under budget. We came in almost $200,000 under budget, which funds were then used to support other FaithBridge ministries. And while every segment on that pie chart has its own story, the one that I want to focus on briefly this morning is the one in the upper right-hand corner, Bridging and Missions. In 2017, you gave... $2 million to the Bridging and Mission Ministry of Faith Bridge. Give yourself a hand. It's incredible. It's more than Faith Bridge received uh, since any time since the, the oil and gas uh, prices uh, went through the floor. And just as important, if not more important, where the heartbeat of Faith Bridge beat the loudest was on those one time Sundays. Those one-time gifts where we rally together to meet a need either in the world or our community. That one Sunday where we gave to Syrian refugee relief. The one Sunday where we raised over $300,000 for Harvey relief. Let's not forget that the echoes of Harvey are going to be heard through these hallways for a long time, not just because of the impact it had on so many of us here, but because of the impact it allowed FaithBridge to have out in the broader community. We all remember that this building was turned into a temporary shelter as the rains were continuing to fall. But what most people don't know is that that building, the kids' ministry building, was inundated 
with clothing and blankets when Faithbridge issued the clarion call saying we need these items for our community? When was the last time that a church had to cry uncle because it was simply receiving too many items? That's exactly what happened as a result of Harvey. And just one month later, we came together and gave a one-time gift of over $400,000 so that our good friend Ben Stewart could at long last start his church in Washington, D.C. It was an incredible year for Faith Bridge. Missions in general, we sent over 500 people out into the mission, people, uh, mission field, putting their shoe leather to their faith. In general, we had 3,466 people on average each week in community with Christ right here at FaithBridge. That resulted in the creation and the consumption of 62,000 donuts <laughs> and the purchase of almost 30,000 pens, of which I am convinced half ended up at my house during the course of the year. We had 1,417 adults in community in 2017, and we had 141 people baptized into a relationship with Jesus Christ last year. No matter how you assess 2017, whether it's with the head or the heart or even the wallet, it was a great success. And the momentum created by 2017 has carried over into 2018. Our average attendance is up over 10% this year alone, each week. That means 400 extra people each and every week are here in community with Christ. The 141 baptisms that we had last year, this year alone, we've already done 78. Imagine what we're going to be able to do during the course of the rest of the year. We're going to be sending 37 mission teams filled with students out into the mission field this summer. So as we look forward into 2018 and what the rest of the year has in store for us, I'm convinced that it's going to be another great year. But when your mission is to impact your culture for Christ, we're never done. We can't rest on our laurels. We can't pat ourselves on the back for a great 2017. We have to continue to work to allow FaithBridge to fulfill its mission. Our budget for this year is $9.7 million, and I'm convinced that once again, we're going to be able to use that money to make more and stronger disciples who make more and stronger disciples of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.